channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be taking you along with me for kind of like a vlog style video. So I hope that this ends up working out the way that I want it to. Um, this is my first attempt at a vlog style, so please bear with me. But today I'm gonna be running out to one of my friend's houses. He was able to split some of his irises and bulbs and other things, um, cause obviously this is the season to be doing that. And he had a lot of extra. So he offered very, very kindly to let me come and to have some of those bulbs. So I'm gonna go ahead and run over to his house grab the bulbs and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna try to figure out where I would like to put them in my garden and I don't know I think I'm gonna be doing some restructuring today so I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about that as we get going so yeah let's go ahead and head on over <music> Okay guys, we are back home now and I am just taking a first look. I wasn't completely sure what all he had in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got. Okay, so here is the details. So, I'm not 100% sure what all of these are. So I've got some of these guys. So he told me that they're all daylilies. Um, irises and something else which I actually can't remember so these are very obviously irises um, let's see let me look up and see what he said okay so he just said bulbs so I'm not 100% sure what these guys are but honestly they kind of look like they kind of look like tulips to me don't you guys think any ideas and then irises and daylilies let's see see maybe the oh these are the day lilies that's gotta be it these like smaller ones so let's see how many we got of those so we've got one batch let's lift this guy up oh this one's a big one two two of those and the rest look like irises to me okay so here's what i'm thinking um so obviously all of these need full sun so what i'm thinking is is that they'll either get planted over here on this side of my house or I might plant some actually where my vegetable garden was um, because what I'm thinking is I'm thinking about doing more container gardening um, with my vegetable garden this next upcoming year and so I'm thinking maybe about and honestly it's just because of space because I can move like my containers around with vegetables in them and then plant flowers in those beds like it's really valuable space if that makes sense um, and I just feel like I don't really have anywhere else to plant up except replacing the annuals here in my front bed but a lot of those are part sun um, I mean this bed is part sun so I just don't feel like I have as much like stuff that I can plant here that's really fun a lot of the other stuff that I really want to plant is full sun and the only spaces I have available for that are the stuff that has um, the vegetables in it like I produced a lot of stuff this year and we just were not able to eat it all I constantly had food going bad um, which I know that you can donate it but I just you know with our busy schedules and everything it would go bad before I could get it there so I'm just thinking about maybe trying to minimize my vegetable gardens this upcoming year so yeah let's go ahead and take a look and see where I could put this stuff Okay, so I could definitely put stuff here because my calabrocoas are going out and all of my petunias and my diamond frost euphorbia is not looking as good as it was. Um, it has actually looked great since I transplanted it from the pot, but um, it's obviously an annual, so it's going to die here soon. And then I can also move this guy out of the way. So I was thinking a big drift of irises would be really fun. I could definitely fill in some here because I had a couple of things die over here but hey look at these sunflowers for my friend's wedding look how pretty I definitely should have not planted them underneath everything 
because they didn't get enough sun and they didn't get very tall. But I think they'll be just tall enough to put in a bouquet. So I did rip out the first row here to try to give them a little bit more sun in the morning and see if I could kind of spike their growth a little bit. But at this point, I think they are what they are. But I mean, you can't beat that. Just gorgeous. I think I might do the daylilies over here. Take out that, because I actually have one other daylily that needs to be planted too. This is one I got on clearance a while back and I just didn't plant it. The big time happy daylily. So I definitely need to get him into the ground and this is the perfect time. See, he's even got weeds in them. He's been there so long. So I think, and the purple and the yellow would be really pretty. I. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And he can go because he's an annual. Yeah, so I think this would be really cool to have the three daylilies. And maybe I could just do them around like that, like I did over here. Okay, I came under here because the lighting is a lot better. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and put those daylilies in like a semicircle, like I did over here in the corner garden. Um, and I did a video about that a while back and everybody seemed to really like that. And I think that that would be a really good place for daylilies too. So I'm going to do that and then I do need something in the middle. So I'm going to try to figure out what I want to plant in the middle of that. And I have a couple of plants that still need to go on the ground. So I'm going to think about it and see what I want to plant over there. But either way, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the bulbs out and then let's go ahead and get started. Let's get this stuff in the ground.
I ended up planting actually everything in the side bed. I realized I had more space in there than I thought that I did, so I just went ahead and planted in there, and if I decide that I wanna add some more flowers into the vegetable garden space next year, then I will go ahead and do that. Um, but I think I'm still gonna pot up everything, like all my vegetables and pots, just so that I can move them around and I can just go ahead and kind of like have a clean slate to start with um, in the spring. So either way, we're gonna go ahead and see what I put in the ground. So first things first is the bulbs that I planted. I guess this wasn't the technically the first thing that I did, but this is the last thing I did and this is where I am. So um, I planted all kinds of bulbs and I'm not 100% sure what they are, but just in a drift here towards the front of the garden bed. Um, and I figured what I could do is plant the, my annuals and mums that I'm planning on putting in here, right here, like behind that. Um, like just a teeny tiny bit so that it'll still give them space to come out towards the edge of the bed um, But of course I will also in the spring have tons of I'm hoping tulips I think that they were all tulips um, Coming up and I think that that will just be such a pretty spot here in the very early spring Okay, so the next thing I did is I went ahead and put some irises here in the side bed and then I also put some daylilies down there at the corner like I said that I was going to and I'm really happy with how it looked. I ended up not putting a shrub. I have a couple of shrubs that I need to pot up but I ended up not putting a shrub there. I decided just to go ahead and stick some salvia in there because I realized that it was getting a little bit too close to the coreopsis. Um, that I had planted and I just figured well I'll just go ahead and pop this in the center and I can go ahead and move it next year if I decide that I don't like it um, which I probably will end up doing but I think it'll be a nice placeholder for now so let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like okay so over here I planted all of the irises here in just a drift right there in between the coreopsis and then I have another salvia and then my black-eyed Susans right here I'm sorry my Rebecca they look like black-eyed Susans um, so I put a drift of irises there and then I also put a couple right down here and I think that that's gonna end up being perfect for spring so I won't just have like late summer color I'll still have hopefully some spring color I need to start thinking about putting some more spring um, blooming perennials I'm thinking like right here maybe right there and I definitely need to do something up there because I'm just not happy with that it's just I don't really know what to do because the hose tends to come out here and it just chops up everything that I end up putting there so I don't know what to do with this little area maybe I should just rock it I don't know um, but I ended up not throwing away my sedum. I just decided it's, it's fall, like what's the point? I might as well just leave it and see if it comes back stronger next year. Because I know that I thought that with something in my front bed, I can't remember exactly, um, but something in my front bed, I was like, oh, I don't know if that's gonna do well. And then it came back the next year super strong. So I, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and give him another year. Let's see what happens next year. If not, I'll just rip him out then. But this is the day lilies, so you can't see the one that's right here because it was pretty much just roots, which is totally fine, but it'll come up next year. Of course, the geranium won't be there. So there will be a day lily here. This is the big happy day lily. I believe it's called big happy. Um, and then this is the other one that I got from my friend as well. So hopefully these two match and then the yellow one will be in the middle and then they'll have the purple spot right back there. I think that that's gonna turn out fairly well. All right, garden friends, so that is it for today. I just planted up bulbs and I'm pretty happy that I was able to get those all for free. Thank you so much to my friend. Oh my goodness, that literally helped me out so much and I'm so excited to see what they look like next season. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments below what are you guys planting this year and definitely what are you guys planting for your bulbs because I've kind of held off on buying bulbs this year just because I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with my beds and I'm going to go ahead and kind of just think on it a little bit and kind of re I might restructure some things um, in this next year so I have held off so let me live vicariously through you what are you guys planting what bulbs are you super excited about this year anyway so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one bye